Hey everybody, this is Pastor B, Tuesday's Touch for August the 11th, and we've been looking at the life of Joseph. We left off with him last week with his brothers so angry with him that they decided to kill him, and with his oldest brother, Reuben, convincing them not to do it, but instead to throw him into a cistern, which is a big, a big hole lined with stone that they kept water in. So they did it. They threw Joseph into the cistern and left him there. Now, while they chose not to kill Joseph with their hands, his fate in the cistern would have been the same because there would have been no way for him to get out. There was no rope and no bucket. So he would have just stayed there and died. But it was a plan of his older brother, Reuben, to come back and get him. After they put him in the cistern and, and left him there and the other brothers left, Reuben's plan was to be the responsible older brother and to come back and get Joseph and reunite him with his father as a responsible older brother should. But apparently the boys got separated and another brother by the name of Judah saw some travelers coming and had an idea. Judah said to his brothers, what will we gain if we kill our brother and cover up his blood? Come, let's sell him to the Ishmaelites and not lay our hands on him. After all, he is our brother, our own flesh and blood. So when the Midianite merchants came by, his brothers pulled Joseph up out of the cistern and sold him for 20 shekels of silver to the Ishmaelites who took him to Egypt. When Reuben came back to get Joseph, he discovered that Joseph was gone. Reuben tore his clothes, which was a sign of sadness and disgust in their culture because he had been too late to save his brother. We don't know what it was that he was doing when Joseph was sold to the traders. We don't know where he was when the decision was made. We don't know what held him up, but I wonder if it was that important that it stopped him from saving his brother. Whatever it was that held him up, the price he paid was the freedom of his brother. And I'm willing to bet that he would tell you that the price was too high. Have you ever missed an opportunity? Some of you are old enough to remember a time when Blockbuster ruled the home entertainment world. We used to go to Blockbuster and rent movies. You remember that and bring them home and watch them. And then you had to rewind them before you brought them back. Because if you didn't, then you may have to pay a fine. Blockbuster was running things and when in 2000 Netflix, which was a small struggling mail order video company, uh, needed some cash. And so the CEO offered to sell Netflix to Blockbuster for $50 million and he was laughed out of the building by the Blockbuster CEO. He said that he, he felt the offer was crazy. And when was the last time you went to Blockbuster? I bet they would do that differently. See, the reality is that you can miss opportunities in this life. Intentions are good, but not good enough. You have to have action. And when you miss opportunities, you pay a price. We don't know what kept Reuben from getting to his brother sooner, but I, I wonder if it was a price that he willingly paid. At this point, though, it was too late. Is there an opportunity that you need to take advantage of, but for some reason you, you just have not? an opportunity to reconcile with somebody, an opportunity to start a new relationship, an opportunity to start a business, chance to go back to school, an important opportunity to reestablish your faith in God. I hate to tell you, but there is such a thing in this life as too late. And if I were you, I would not let a grudge or fear or past hurt or doubt stop you from setting your heart after the thing that God has placed in your heart. You may discover, like Reuben, like Blockbuster, later on down the road that you pay a high price and it's too late. The brothers of Joseph get his clothing, they kill a goat, they take the blood from the goat, put it on the clothes and take those clothes to their father and say, Daddy, an animal must have got him. This is all we have. His father's heart is broken and Joseph now uh, lives a different type of life. He was the favorite son of his father, but now he begins a new chapter of his life as an Egyptian slave. But even then, God's hand is on him. Come back next week and we'll talk about it.
This is Pastor B, Tuesday's Touch. God bless you, love you. Hey, make sure that you uh, listen to the announcements right below this video. It won't take you long so that you can see what's happening at St. James. Also, make sure that we have your updated email address. If you're getting this email from someone else and not getting it directly from us, we want your email address so that we can contact you directly, so that we can email it to you directly. Uh, and we wanna hear from you too. If you're not a member, but you're participating in this, you're hearing it weekly and it's blessing you, you, please let us know also let us know how we can pray for you during this time god is with us god loves us god loves you and you have been touched god bless